Maritime Made on East Link TV is presented in partnership with Nova Scotia Business Inc., Nova Scotia's business development agency. First introduced to Europe by Christopher Columbus, a hammock has been a favorite napping spot in the Americas for over a thousand years. And with its rich maritime history, the hammock has always been the sleeping spot of choice for many a sailor. So if you want to find one of the comfiest hammocks out there, where better than Bay Hammocks? Located in the seaside community of Seabright, Bay Hammocks have taken the hammock to a whole new level. Not only do they offer tourists the opportunity to laze in Canada's largest hammock, but they also custom make some of the sturdiest and most durable hammocks you'll ever find. Bay hammocks offer great canvas-based hammocks, but it's their rope hammocks that are the talk of the town. A good hammock is only as strong as the ropes that hold it together. Bay Hammocks deals with that little issue by making their own rope. Bay Hammocks are made from either colorful nylon or a rope made from recycled plastic bottles. Spools of both materials arrive at the manufacturing facility on cardboard tubes and are then wound together in groups of seven or eight strands onto plastic spools using the bobbin winder. The strands themselves are 1,200 denier. A unit of weight that's used to measure the fineness of the yarn. Once the spools are fully wound, they're moved to one of four antique rope weaving machines. Each length of rope consists of eight weaves plus a center core. The final rope will be both strong and resilient and is able to hold many hundreds of pounds and last for many years to come. The rope weaving machine can create a continuous rope at about three feet per minute. Once a bag of rope is half filled, it's taken to the shuttle winder. Each hammock is made with a continuous length of rope. Some as much as 260 feet long, depending on the model being made. The shuttle winder makes the rope much easier to handle. First, the worker attaches the shuttle to the winder. then proceeds to wind the complete length of rope onto the shuttle. Once wound, the shuttle is removed and is ready for weaving. Each hammock is hand woven and takes about two hours to complete. First, the worker creates a rope chain. This will be one side of the finished hammock and acts as a starting point for the weave. Once the rope chain is complete, the worker weaves the shuttle of rope in and out, slowly revealing the shape of the hammock. The worker will continue this process until they've reached the required width. They'll then create a second rope chain that is also attached to the woven rope. That will complete the hammock. Now the actual hammock is complete. 
it's time to create the parts that will hold you and your hammock in the air. The harness is what connects the hammock to the connecting point that is hung from a stand, post, or tree. The harness consists of a solid piece of maple or hickory, a series of rope lengths, as well as a metal ring. Lengths of rope between 8 to 10 feet, depending on the hammock, are cut to the required length. Each length loops around the metal ring to become two strings of the harness. The harness will hold 18 or more strings, depending on the width of the harness. Once all the lengths of rope are attached, they are weaved together to create a strong and decorative connection with the ring, usually using what is called a sword point knot. Now the strings are ready, it's time to attach the wooden spreader bar. The spreader bar is made from a solid length of wood that is cut to length. Holes are then drilled at equal spaces down the length of the bar. Once complete, the bar is given three coats of linseed oil and left to dry over a series of three days. Linseed oil will protect the wood for years to come. The harness is connected to the spreader bar on the balancing station. This simple clamp setup allows the strings to be tied evenly through the holes in the bar. Once each string is pushed through the holes, a knot is tied to secure it to the spreader bar. Once the harness is complete, it's time to tie it to the woven hammock. Each loop in the hammock is securely and evenly tied to the harness strings. Once complete, the loose ends are removed with a burning tool. The hammock is then inspected by hand and placed on a rack ready for the customer. All in all, a job well done and a rest well deserved. Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc. Because great things are happening.